Hello, so welcome back. It's Marilyn Devonish here and you are in the Marilyn Devonish community in Heartbeat. So this, once you've created your profile, which by now I'm guessing you would have done to get to this point, you're going to see the various kind of chat threads here. First one you'll see is the introduction and what happens every time someone new joins the community, the questions that you've asked, aside from the private one that you may be sent, that you sent to me if you fill that in, but the questions that you ask will appear here so people will find out who you are, what you're great at, how you can help the community, are there any questions that you want to have answered, and just like you would on regular social media, you've got your full range of emojis here that you can add to this particular thread. So anything you fancy, just you go for your emoji. Actually, let's have a bunch of flowers. So you can add the emoji if you're coming in, then you can click on it and add to it, or you can choose one of your own. And so that's where you'll see the introductions for everyone who's new to the community. If you read an introduction that you really like, and maybe you can help them with the thing that they are looking for, then again, just as you would on regular social media, you, you type your reply here. You can also add a GIF if you want, GIF, GIF, however you say it, and search for whatever the one is you're looking for. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire, that's always a bit of fun. And just choose the, the GIF that you want, add it in there. Actually, let's see. Oh, you can also add documents, fabuloso. So you can add something if you've got something useful that you can add to them. So that's the first thread that you're going to come up against with um, when you join the introductions. The next, and this one is really exciting. I love it. If you've ever been on Clubhouse, and I spent a lot of time on Clubhouse when, it, when I first joined up back in December 2021, it has a voice room. The water cooler is exactly that. You can go into the water cooler room. If anyone else is online, you click the water cooler, you join the voice room, and what it will do, it will, you know, it's already asked me for permission, but in the right hand corner, sorry, left hand corner, um, if you're looking at a screen, it hasn't reversed it, you'll see a thing where it just says allow your microphone and then you can do a, a voice chat. You can switch on your video if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Let's just say you've met someone in the community and they could help you with something or you could help them. Like someone was showing me how to set up um, an account for something last week. So we went on to Zoom and did a screen share you could actually do that from within the platform without having to go to Zoom. You just say start screen share. It will start the screen share. There may be somebody in the community that you said, hey, I'm going to be around at three o'clock. Let's chat. So you would then type in. You would invite them as users. So you'll see the list of people here. You would invite one of those. There's only two people in my community at the moment. I started it 10 minutes ago, so not bad going. Um, but you, if you see the person in the chat, you invite them to to that. You can adjust your audio settings and if you finish with the voice call this is one where you just leave the call so that's the water cooler we've got the general chat so this is going to be the general thread i haven't put anything in there but you can start your chat um, and you just start typing so hello and welcome i won't say that because i've already just said that but you know you get the gist you get the gist oh actually what's that Oh, you can do a poll. Oh, that's cool. So you can do it anonymous or you can show the results. I like that. And again, you can add any documents you want to add. So that's your general. If there are announcements and the announcements will be generated, I believe I've said it for Monday mornings at 10 a.m., but those will show you what's been going on in the whole um, community for the week, just in case you missed anything. And then this is where if you have those burning questions, uh, maybe someone missed it when they when you put it in your intro, they didn't look at the introductions that week, then you can post your questions there. And I might, this is no stupid questions, I might change that. Maybe I'll call that one, ask anything, but whatever, you get the gist. So that's it. That's your quick whistle stop tour through the community. Now, for those of you who signed up for my loyalty card program, there will be some opportunities in here to get some extra bonus points. If you don't know about it, I launched a new loyalty card program last week and um, it's free to join. Every time you do a paid coaching session, a paid therapy session, attend a paid workshop or purchase an online e-coaching program or an online workshop, you get bon a bonus point for that. When your dance card is full, you get a free online coaching session, a one-to-one -one session with me, and there's going to be some opportunities to earn some extra bonus points while you're in this community. So if you've got your loyalty card, make sure you um, 
you use this community and your the notifications if you've got your push notifications on you'll get a little notification whenever you've got an extra bonus point depending on where you're watching this video if you're on my dub channel i'll put some buttons below where you can join this community if you haven't already done so where you can sign up for the loyalty card and i'll also put details in if you've got a, you want to drop me an email etc but yeah that's a little bit more about how to get started how to use this platform once you've set up your done your bio thank you thank you thank you for joining me and if you know anyone else who'd be a really good fit for this community please feel free to share the link with them invite them to come along and join us and my vision for this is we've got some, we get some real good collaboration going because i know some absolutely amazing people so for example i've got a heart math trainer it may be that she comes in if she's around one day you she starts a voice room go in and talk about heart map how do you connect in with your heart space i've got another who does if you watch the um how to set up your bio video you would have heard me say about the silver bullet healing specifically for those who are in the military that's a real specialist one but definitely I'm sure there'll be people in the community who know someone who could benefit from that. It may be that I do something around photo reading because you can run workshops within this community as well. So that might be one, or I might just say, hey, look, I'm doing a photo reading Q&A for 15, 20 minutes. Join me in the water cooler room. Come and ask any questions. Other times I might say, I've got a bit of time on Thursday. Put your questions in. I'll answer a couple of questions about X, Y, Z. So that's really why it's important to make sure you put the things you want to be known for in your bio so that as people sign up, they see who's here. And if someone is looking for I've got another client, for example, who's a marketing specialist. She writes marketing copy for small businesses. So it may be that you want to connect with her if you want to give your blogs, your websites, your sales copy a bit of pizzazz. So it's really important filling your bio so as people join the community, they figure out who you are and they can look for you when they need your products and services or ideally recommend you as well. If they can't benefit from what you do, they most probably know others who can. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this. Thank you so much for joining. And thank you for those of you who join the loyalty card program. I will see you in the community chat. Catch you later.